about ladies say it with me no more pain <laughs> women will spend hundreds of dollars on shoes that look good sacrificing their feet in the process but today consumer correspondent Janice Lieberman says designers are now making shoes that are trendy and comfortable Imagine that. I have to see it to believe it. Hallelujah is what <laughs> yes. I have to say. According to the American Podiatric Medical Society, 87% of women complain about foot pain because their shoes hurt, and I am certainly one of them. So now some savvy shoe designers are offering shoes that actually don't kill. I will forego comfort for really, really beautiful shoes. It's been an age-old fight for women. Fashion versus fit. I have a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes. I spent $700 on those things, and they kill my feet. But because they look so cute, I'm going to still wear them. <laughs> I feel like every single shoe I've had has had a horror story attached to it. So it's no wonder the American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society reports that 86% of women wear the wrong shoe size, which can obviously lead to foot pain and problems. Some of the problems we see over the years with patients that wear ill-fitting shoes are the bunion, the hammer toe, dislocated joints, calluses, corns, you name it. Well, now more than ever, women are demanding shoes that not only feel comfortable, but actually look good and don't resemble your grandma's space shoes. And designers are finally scoring. Better designers work extremely hard looking at all the latest fashions, bringing those trends to the forefront, but we keep the comfort underneath. And Atrex Shoes is stepping it up a notch using technology to make sure the shoe fits. On the eye step, we can see the three essentials, your foot size, the arch, and your pressure points. And that way we can customize the shoe. The red is where you have the most pressure. I mean, this is a really high-tech way to go shoe shop. Absolutely, but there's a big difference. You can wear heels, and you can wear flats, and you can wear sandals. You swear? I do. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't believe. I gotta try them on. Their designers have figured out a way to hide those ugly orthotics into a nice looking shoe. If you have pressure in different parts of your foot, we take it out and this will give you a little bit more support. Oh my God. It feels so good. Comfort and fashion, what a concept. You don't want to take them off. You want to sleep in them, basically. <laughs> and I have to tell you, the shoes really are not that expensive. Yeah. All the shoes run $100 or less, so they're not crazy, crazy prices. And I love that it took you into a whisper. Oh, that feels good. That's all what you know it. For. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. And joining us is Dr. Suzanne Levine. Levine, excuse me, a board-certified podiatric surgeon at the New York Presbyterian Hospital, who also is a shoe connoisseur, so she can relate to the story. Good morning, Dr. Good Levine. Morning. It's great to see you. So we're going to take a look at some popular shoe styles, and you'll tell us why it's a problem and our solution. I want to start off with the wedge because a lot of people assume wedges are good because it's supposed to be an even playing field. Well, wedges are good, but what happens is sometimes all of the pressure is placed under the ball of the foot. What I like about these aerosols is there's lots of cushioning. You have the breathable insole so you don't get blisters, and you have the adjustable strap which really makes it great because, you know, our feet swell during the summer. Yeah, and a lot and of people forget that. You decide to take a long walk or you're out with the kids and, and you forget to factor that in. No question about it. And so these are really terrific and you can wear them for long periods of time. And right. then these shoes, if you take a look at these, this is a cork that absorbs a lot of the shock. It also, the straps are adjustable. Mm -hmm. The material gives. And so you have less pressure on the ball of the foot, you have less blisters, less abrasions, and it's great for feet that really swell at the end of the day. Now another popular style this season, Janice, you know this, it's the uh, gladiator sandal. But when you've got that many straps, you're just asking for a disaster. But these are soft, These right? are soft. Oh, love these yeah. gladiators. But what's the problem with the gladiator well, style? Well, the gladiator, usually you end up with blisters because oh, of the yeah. thick straps, but these tend to give. The material on this is very soft, and you see the extra cushioning? You could probably walk around with these shoes for several hours. Wow. And they're really good looking. And it's a nice size heel. That, it's, you know, it's, it's really terrific. It gives the leg a little That's low for you, more. right? The, well, this is low for yeah, me, but I, I'll take them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to turn them down. Are you kidding me? And next, the flip-flop. We okay. are such a flip-flop culture these days, but there are problems associated with it. Yes, with the flip-flop, sometimes people complain about pain or blisters in between the toes. Mm -hmm. And this has an adjustable font. 
This by Atrix too has a, an insole, so you can wear it for long periods of time. And you can see the flip flops or the fit flops also have jewels. Yeah. So it makes it look a lot, a lot more stylish. Now, Janice, in your piece, you actually had on a pair of the flip flops. Did you still feel like you had a little pizzazz in the shoes? I shoe? mean, they're not exactly. Well, yeah, they're not even shoes. They're not your kind of shoes, but I keep them in the, in, okay. in the car and I keep them in my bag because after a whole day, well, you know, you really you feel like it. That. And real yeah. quickly, the ballet slipper, very popular when people are walking around in the city, especially. Love the ballet slipper. What's the problem with the shoe? The the problem with the ballet slippers, you end up with blisters and okay. corns in between the toes because oh. our feet perspire. Not good. But these Geox have an absorbable insert so you don't end up with the blisters or the abrasion and you have extra cushioning. So you can love wear it. them all day. Love and it and jellies. I love that they're all affordable. And jellies are cute great. Jellies. Oh, they're cute jellies. Yeah. Love Thank the jellies. Thank you so much, Dr. Levine. Janice Thanks. as well. We greatly appreciate it. Still